What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today we're going to be doing a cabin filter change on a 2020 Chevy Impala. Like I said, this is a 2020, but it will be the same on several different years. So the only tool you're going to need to do this is a Phillips head screwdriver. So the first thing we need to do is open the glove box. And if we look on the right hand side over here, we're going to see this latch. We need to pull that latch off there and we're just going to pull it straight to the right. So I'm just gonna get my thumb on that and it'll pop off there like that. Okay, now we need to push in on either side of the glove box like this and that's gonna allow that to come down. So go like this, push in, that allows that to come down. And now there are seven screws that we need to remove. There's three on the bottom, here, here, and here. And then if we look up, there's gonna be four on top. Here, 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 and in this kind of round cubby in there. So you have your four on top and your three down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those seven and then I'll see you in the next shot. Okay, so I just finished taking out those seven screws that we looked at in the previous shot. And now this whole panel is gonna come out of here. And if we just get a hold of it and start it down here, it'll come out of there pretty easy. Okay, so we can set that to the side. <clears throat> and then if we look up in here, this honeycomb shaped item here is gonna be the door to the cabin filter. And there's gonna be a latch on either side that you'll, you just wanna get your finger around and kind of pull back towards you like that from here. And if you have this wiring harness in the way, you'll kind of just have to push that up. Give yourself a little bit of room. And now we can see our actual filter here. And when you put your new one in, just make sure you pay attention to the airflow arrow. You wanna make sure that airflow arrow is pointing down. And then once you put your new filter in, you'll reverse everything we just did to close it up. Snap your door back on. Make sure that's clipped on there tight. Snap your door back on. You're gonna have to put that panel back up in there. Put your seven screws back in. Flip your glove box up and then come over here and uh, reattach that latch. So that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.